Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are going to be making Crock Pot Apple Barbecue Chicken. Oh, I'm having a whole lot of fun. And there you can see the yummy chicken. Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making a simple yet yummy dish it is going to be crock pot apple barbecue chicken and um, we shred this up at the end you can eat it just as shredded chicken on your plate or you can put it on a bun whichever you choose it's awesome so I've already got my chicken it's three and a half pounds of chicken I've already got it in my crock pot because I don't have a sink behind me like Chris and Mike do so I can't show you how I put it in there and then go wash my hands so it's in there I promise and then I need an 18 ounce bottle of barbecue sauce and two cups of apple butter. That's it. So we've got our chicken in there and now we are going to try to open this barbecue sauce. You guys know that I am horrible when it comes to opening things. I don't know why I don't do that beforehand so I don't have to embarrass myself in front of you. But it is what it is. So. We're just gonna empty out this entire 18 ounce bottle of barbecue sauce. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid on and do the crazy swingy thing to get it all down at the bottom. Get the rest out. Here we go. And then two cups of apple butter. Okay, so there's one. Oh, that smells good. And two. So we're just going to take these two and we're gonna mix them together real quick. And then we're going to pour it over top of the chicken. So it's that simple. After we pour this over the top, we will cover and cook on low for four and then we're gonna shred up the chicken. And you can either do that with two forks or you can do it with um, a stand mixer. I've never tried it with a hand mixer. I don't know if that would work or not. If you've given that a try before, let me know in the comments down below if that works like it does with a stand mixer because I honestly don't know. Um, but so I have just emptied out all of my barbecue apple butter concoction, spread it out all over everything so it's not just one big lump in the middle. That's it. Cover and cook on low for four hours and we will be back in three, two, and we're back. And I um, went ahead and took the chicken out of my crock pot and used my sand mixer to shred up this chicken because let's be honest, I am super, super slow when it comes to shredding chicken with two forks. And so my mixer can do it in about 30 seconds flat, maybe 20. So anyway, if you don't like the texture, because I know some people say, oh, don't ever shred chicken in a mixer. It just ruins it. If you don't like it, perfectly fine. Go ahead and use two forks. I, however, am completely just inept whenever it comes to doing it with two forks. And so I prefer my stand mixer. So that's how I did it. Anyway, let's give it a try. Like I said, you can, um, I just put my chicken um, that I had shredded back in here and then stirred it up and now we're gonna put it on a bun. You don't have to put it on a bun. You can just eat it as shredded chicken on your plate if you want. But we love it on these big, yummy, they're, they're a little bit sweet, the buns are. And which goes well with this because I have had this before and I know that it is a sweet and savory kind of um, mixture in the chicken. And so, whoa, um, that's a little bit better. I love the, how the sweet bread of the bun goes together with it. All right, so let me scoot this over so I don't drop it. And there you can see the yummy chicken. Let's give it a try. Oh, and yes, I'm, I'm weird. Tell me, does anybody else do this? I always flip my buns whenever I eat them. Like, I grab them like this and then I flip it over so the top bun becomes the bottom bun. No idea why, just how I eat. 
Mm. So good. You have sweetness coming from the apple butter and like just this hint of flavor from it that mixes perfectly with the barbecue sauce. And it's so savory and oh, so good. You guys are gonna love this. This is great for if you wanna just have a couple of dinners for your family or if you want to take this to a party to share with your um, larger family and friends. It's amazing. I hope you love it as much as I do. I love that it tastes good and it is super simple to throw together. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below. If you haven't subscribed yet to be a part of our Crop Posse family, we'd love to have you. Hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to know every single time we post a video, hit the bell called the ding -a ling And no matter what you do, laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye. Oh. Okay, so I've been in a squat like this as, since I've been standing up here. Good thigh workout. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, 